The third challenge that we face is the political divide. I met an old friend recently who expressed his concerns about what he called a very divided Singapore. He highlighted that nowadays, in all his interactions with friends, colleagues, and even family members, he noticed people are more polarized and divided. This view is not an isolated one. I've heard many expressing similar perspective. Worse, we have many fellow travelers who are always willing and waiting to wedge any crevice they can find to create chasm in our community. It seems almost fashionable for people to ape the politics of divide from other parts of the world and push the idea that only through deep divisions that our country can progress. Those who have turned a blind eye to events of the past that caused bloodshed and disharmony would, I hope, think carefully before they embark on the bandwagon to create discord in our society. I urge Singaporeans to pay close attention to their antics and to ask, why are they doing what they are doing? What is their motivation? I'm not saying everyone must agree with all the government policies. By all means, disagree. By all means, share with us your disagreement as one would in a democratic and civil society. Our country spent the first 50 years of our history getting rich, and I would love to see us spend the next 50 years learning to become truly wealthy. I believe if the state commits itself wholeheartedly to encouraging innovation, promoting inclusivity, and empowering identity, we would be on the right track to creating the kind of Singapore many of our young people would buy into, a Singapore that balances both material and immaterial needs. Budget 2015 already touches on innovation and inclusivity, not so much identity. I'll just raise some concerns and suggestions with these three themes. Last year, I wrote about the erosion of our national identity and the urgent need for government to refocus in building it. I feel that, this, feel that as long as the government focuses on inclusiveness and of Singaporeans first, we will have a chance of building a stronger national identity for the future Singaporeans. National identity results in a greater sense of ownership and responsibility towards nation building. And we need to energize our young to feel the sense of ownership and responsibility. I'm very sure that if we continue to focus on the inclusive growth approach and put in place measures that make, makes each Singaporean feel that this is their home and not a hotel, and that citizenship is a matter of pride to want to continue to build a better future for subsequent generations of Singaporeans, we would have succeeded in building a stronger national identity. I urge the government to spend more in future budgets focusing on this exercise of building the Singapore national identity. 